So, have you come back to see the mess you left behind? I left no mess behind. I left you all with a chance. An opportunity to work towards a Mertana that knows peace. None of you took that chance. And now look at what's happening. Well, it's your friends who have been making trouble. That is no reason for you to sit down and do nothing while our land is drenched with the blood of our fellow men. It seems the gods weren't the reason for all our fighting after all. You people only live for your own selfish aims and will think nothing of spilling a little blood to fulfill them. I've returned to put an end to all of this. Now, how much time have I lost? How long have I been sleeping? On the way to Geldern, one of our caravans found you battered and half dead. Obviously an orc attack. You've been out for about a week since we found you. Where's my equipment? I'm certain you'll find it with the orcs. Orcs? Are you sure? Yes. The whole atmosphere is tense. My people live in fear of orcs. They've started brutally attacking our caravans. Merchants dead and material lost. I get such reports almost every day. Why do they attack your caravans? Trellis and Gotha are at war, and orcs are not in the habit of paying for anything. Your people? What do you mean? After you left Mertana, my brother and I became caretakers of Geldern and Sildan. Inog looks after Geldern, and I look after Sildan. Why don't you retaliate? That is not an option. The people of Mertana have seen too much of war to be a part of it again. We decided to keep Geldern and Sildan out of the war. Waiting idle while the world digs its own grave is not an option. Listen to me, Anag. Give me your support to reunite Mertana. Help me bring back peace. Nothing would please me more, but... But what? Times are bad, and trust is rare. You'll have to prove that I can trust you. What? I have shed blood for this land. You know that. How can you doubt my intentions? Gorn and Thoris would have said the same. Where is Zardis, by the way? Why does that concern you? I'm just curious. You were the only one to see him last. He's led himself down a separate path I could not follow. I see. However, now remains the question of your trustworthiness. And what is the cost of your trust? Go about the village and ask the people if you could help them in any way. Once you perform a service for them, ask for a letter of recommendation. Come back to me when you have five. Very well. I shall be off now. But be prepared for my return. Peace is at hand. I shall embrace it. One more thing. If you come across Boris, stay away from him. Who is Boris? An old friend. Is he dangerous? He talks too much and you have little time. Where would he normally be? Boris will be guarding one of the gates of Geldern. Greetings, citizen. Are you from Sildan? No, I've come from Gotha to live here. Why have you left Gotha? Gorn has been forcing citizens to join his army against their will. I ran away the day his soldiers came to my door. Is not fighting for your land an honorable duty? Warrior, spare me your teachings. Not all of us can be soldiers. Without us, you would have nothing to defend. We make the land you defend. What about Gorn's army? Can you tell me something about them? The army is growing in size. Gorn is enlisting the support of mages and alchemists as well. Do you despise Gorn for his actions? Gorn must be thrown in the dungeons for starting this war. He must be chained and have his hands cut off so that he can never pick up another sword. Perhaps he has a good reason for the attacks. What do you know about Thoris? All of Mertana knows that Thoris was the one who managed peace between orc and human. He is a man of honor, unlike Gorn. Do you trust orcs? No, but I trust Thoris. Thank you. 
You have been patient. The war will end soon. I promise you. You're going to kill Gorn? Only if I truly believe he is doing wrong. Hey, what can I tell you? What's going on? Teach me something about being a smith. Take my advice. I forgot this is Gorn. Stop Gorn. Too hard. In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the eternal wanderer led the way. I need a lockpick. Hey, you there. Yes? I'm not from around here, you see. I I'm looking for the inn. Oh, well, there are a few. No, you don't understand. I'm not here for an inn. I'm here for THE inn. THE inn? The one that she runs. What are you talking about? Seems you aren't from around here. Have you not heard about her? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm gonna take my leave now. I cannot create anything at the moment. How's it going? You know what? I wasn't feeling too good till last night. But now I'm doing real great. Oh? What happened between then and now? I found happiness, friend. You see, since my marriage has ended, I've been a little low. But last night, I found the happiness right here, inside this little town, if you know what I mean. You look a little low yourself. Go talk to her. All right. I have to go now. What do you want? You have to watch what you say. Take my advice. Hey, what can I tell you? You seem like Spawn. Who 
are you? A fellow citizen of Mertana. Is there anything I can do for you? Huh? Who? A service? Oh, yes? Why not? Are you a slave? No, I'm just a fellow citizen of Mertana. Who are you? I'm a slave. No, an orc? Hmm, no, that can't be right. Hmm, an alchemist. Yes, I'm an alchemist. Goodness, don't ask me my name. What are you doing? I'm creating... Hmm, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm creating the most powerful potion ever created by any alchemist. What does it do? Hmm, it makes the person who drinks it fatter. Uh, no, um, uh, taller? No. Ah, it makes the drinker more powerful. Significantly more powerful than any other potion can. Really? Have you had too much swamp weed today? Swamp weed? No, I don't need that. What I need is some fire nettle for this potion. Fire nettle? That's easy enough to find. Why don't you get it yourself? Every time I go to collect fire nettle, I've been attacked by scavengers. But you know, you look strong. An undigested fire nettle will make a far more potent potion. Yes, I want fire nettle straight out of the belly of well-fed scavengers. You're gonna make a potion out of that. That's not very healthy. Oh no, I do rinse all ingredients before using them. Uh, can you get me some? Hmm. What's in it for me? Can I interest you in some potions? I'd need a letter of recommendation for Anog as well. Yes, yes, of course. I love getting letters of recommendation. Very well. How many nettles do you need? About 700. No, five should be enough. Where can I find the scavengers? You will find the scavengers... Eh, somewhere. Maybe in Nordmarian? I don't remember. I'd come with you and let you use my scavenger bait, but I'd rather not leave Sylph. What can you tell me about the war? What war? Oh dear, quick, get me my armor. Uh, no, wait, I don't have any armor. Goodness, what do I do? Calm down. There seems to be a war between the orcs and the humans. Do you have any information about that? A war? Wasn't it over when Zardas killed the undead bison? Bison? <laughs> there is a new war brewing. Oh dear, that's terrible. I don't think I can bear the sight of another undead bison. Hmm. Have Thoris's orcs ever approached you for your potions? Huh? No, why would they? That sounds silly. Very well, I shall be off. You'd better go now. Are you looking for a room? I run this inn. Hmm. No. Does your inn see fewer guests now that the war has begun? More than ever. What kind of guests do you see nowadays? Mostly those who have an interest in the war. Soldiers, blacksmiths, weapon makers, the list goes on and on. Do you keep a watch on these guests? Oh no, that would drive me mad. My wife does that. I merely keep the books in order. Have orcs ever stayed at your inn? There were a few, but that was before the war. They do not come here anymore. Greetings, friend. I see sorrow in your face. Is there anything I can do for you? What seems to be the problem? Barnabas. Who is he? A mean man. Oh. What has he done? I gave him a room at my inn. He stayed here for three days and left without paying me. It's bad enough that people don't travel as much due to the war. So business is bad. And then... There's more? Well, you know, I have a wife and he... You know, entertained her. Oh. Well, friend, I, I'm sorry to hear about that. Perhaps I could help you. Hmm. Perhaps you could. Can you do two things for me? 
Can you get my money back and scold him for what he did with my wife? I could get your money back if you could give me a letter of recommendation in exchange for the service. Oh, everyone wants something. Okay, you can have your letter. Are you sure I should just scold him? I could break a few of his bones for you. Are you sure? Can you do it? Oh, that would be nice. Don't tell him I told you to do it. I won't. But for this extra service, I will need some gold. Very well. Gold for his bones. A fair trade. I shall be off. Good day, sir. Would you like to buy something? What do you know about the orc attacks? Oh, nothing, sir. I'm just busy trying to earn a living. Has the war caused much loss to your trade? I have gained by war. More people buy weapons. Hey, what can I tell you? It's the same old story. Since that's thrown around. Sure.
I need a lockpick. Oh, hello! I sent someone to get my nettles, now I don't remember who. If you meet him, let me know, and let him know that I know, that I'm waiting for my nettles. But mind your own business. It is done. Five undigested nettles. Ah, thank you. What's this for? Ah, oh yes, I remember. Here's your reward. Teach me something about alchemy. Good day, sir. Would you like to buy today? I have fresh stock. 
Fresh stock? Of what? Everything! Name it! What can you tell me about Anog? We wish for a better ruler. Every day we pray for a great king to come and make things better. Tell you, this is some nice stars. That's all we need. I'll just wait and see. as it is. What? Hey, you! What are you doing sneaking around? Hey, what can I tell you? Some problems solve themselves. You seem troubled. Oh, why wouldn't I be, huh? Tell me. No, no, tell me. Why wouldn't I be? Calm down. What happened? I'm a man who loves peace and quiet. Did you know that I did not marry because I can't stand kids chattering? What has any of that got to do with your troubles? Oh, well, the trouble is these birds on my roof. I bought this house down by the river because it's far away from the town's noises. But there's some crazy bird-loving man who they say has arrived in town. He happens to think of my roof as the best place to invite seagulls from all over Mertana for a party. How does he do it? He leaves crumbs of bread all over the roof in the, in the night. And by the next morning, there's so much noise on my roof that I can't even hear my own thoughts. I can help you with that. Oh, can you? Would you please find that crazy bird man? I'd be forever indebted to you. All I want in return is a letter of recommendation from you. Oh, it'll be my pleasure. He leaves breadcrumbs wherever he's been. Maybe you should start with that. Who doesn't get much work? Greetings, citizen. Do you live here? Yes, what do you want? Have you had trouble from the orcs? None whatsoever. I'm just a lowly servant in Anog's service. What are you doing here, then? I'm waiting for a caravan of supplies for Anog. Have many caravans been lost to the orcs? Many, but not the ones that belong to Anog. They are heavily guarded. Thank you. You've been helpful. A nice, warm fire. Greetings. You look troubled. Troubled, upset, and everything else. What seems to be the problem? My rival, Tobert. He's the problem. Can you be a little more clear? Oh, I'll make it clear. Bah! 
I'm a shepherd. I've been a shepherd for many years, and now a merchant nearby has become one too. As if he didn't have enough money already. Why should that bother you? Why should that bother me? He's eating into my profits now. Well, good sir, I think it is only fair that... Ah, don't give me a lesson on what's fair, boy. He's using magic to make his animals seem more healthy. He's cheating his customers. I understand. That isn't right. Not right for Mertana. Ah, a patriot. Well, then do something for Mertana. Use those muscles. Go and kill his animals. In exchange for this favor, I could give you some gold and also a letter of recommendation. What do you say? I say that today, you will see large quantities of meat strewn across the fields. I shall be off. What do you want? I'm busy. Anton asked me to... Anton? What does that wimp have to say? You used one of his rooms without paying, and entertained his wife. Ah, yes. I remember that like it was only yesterday. Hmm. It was yesterday. Anton has a good eye for artifacts, if you know what I mean. Now, why are we talking? I think it's time you paid your dues, Barnabas. I don't like your tone, warrior. What's Anton promised you for this service? A night in one of his rooms? Gold. And a letter of recommendation. Listen, boy. And listen carefully. Let's help each other. I don't have any gold right now. Pay up for me, and I'll return the gold to you when you get back. What's more, I'll let you use this spell on Anton. It'll make him forget about the whole thing, including my little quest with his wife. How does this benefit me? It's so much you have to learn. If you pay him, he's happy. And I'm happy, right? I'll return your money anyway. If you cast a spell on him, I'll give you a letter of recommendation. He'll forget that I even looked at his wife. And you'll get a letter without too much effort. Hmm. And maybe I can stay another day at his inn when I'm feeling... lonely. Hmm. But would a letter of recommendation from you be of any value? Of course it will. Trust me. Enough talk. I've decided. It's people like you that have soiled the land of Mertana. Pay up. Right now. And if I don't, what are you gonna do about it? I'll show you. Come here. Now, friend, would you like to pay up, or would you like some more convincing? Okay, okay, here. Take your gold and leave me alone. Greetings. I'm looking for information. Information can wait. You look like a warrior, but do you think you could defeat me in a fighting match? 
I've seen enough fighters to know that you are one that can be easily beaten. Oh, ho! Oh. You have a quick tongue, but let us see if you are as quick in battle. To get to me, you will first have to fight Griswold. You will need practice. Some problems solve themselves. Is there anything I can do for you? I doubt you can. You seem like just another warrior. You'll do well to watch your tongue in my presence. Ah, a little touchy, aren't we? Well, for this task, I need someone who can think beyond weapons and violence. Someone who has a little muscle in their head. But I'm sure you're only interested in battle. It's because of people like you were in these terrible times. And where do you think your insults will lead you? There! You prove my point. <laughs> I don't fight battles for my own entertainment. I will not waste my time with ignorance such as yours. Hold on, warrior. Forget what I said. I'm merely upset about all the madness that's been taking place. War affects us all, even a thief like me. Times are bad, and trust is rare. I'm aware of that. Now tell me. What is it that you need help with? The orc attacks on the caravans have increased in frequency, and I've been asked to look into this. Who gave you this task? Anog, the poor fool is getting desperate. What are you waiting for? Oh, I'd like to help him out, but I'm a thief, not a soldier. The orcs seem to have become stronger somehow. There's some new magic in the air. What's the solution? Dylan has an amulet. If I had that, I tend to the orc menace at once. Who is Dylan? He's a merchant. Where can he be found? In Geldern itself. The roads are filled with wild animals, but it should be easy to find your way. Why not just buy the amulet from him? Uh, I'm a thief, remember? Listen, why don't you get me the amulet? Do that, and I'll teach you a thing or two about our trade. You want me to steal? I'm just asking you for your help. You're willing to kill to bring about peace? Why can't you steal if it's going to help protect the merchants? Huh. Throw in a letter of recommendation with that. Ah! Why not? You shall have it. Has the war affected your... Uh, trade? It has. People are now more protective of their possessions. Perhaps in the absence of things to steal, you should work for a peaceful Mertana. There is no better time to test my skills. Once the war is over, I will have acquired new ways to steal. Mertana needs men of skill. Why don't you use your skills to serve it? I serve only myself. Do you see anyone caring for anyone other than himself here? Mertana has no heart anymore. What have you ever done to bring good to Mertana? What have you ever done, my friend? Leave me be and spare me your teachings. Are you confident that the war will end? This is how it's always been. War comes and goes, heroes come and go. What remains is us, the people of Mertana, who have to endure the winds of change every time. Very well. I shall be off. You may have seen Battle Warrior, but you haven't faced the likes of me. Greetings. I am looking for information. First answer this question. Do you think you can defeat me in a contest? Yes. Well then, perhaps we should test your confidence. Let us move to the arena. If you defeat me, then you will have to fight Rit. And if you defeat Rit, then you will have to fight the champion. I am seeking information. I am the champion fighter in these parts, and that is all you need to know. How about a contest? I would like to practice. Go to the keeper of the arena and get him to set up our match. Very well. Prepare to lose your title.
I cannot create anything at the moment. Here are your dues, and you'll be happy to hear that Barnabas is nursing several bruises. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Here's your letter and your gold. If you ever need a room for free, let me know. I'm sure you have something else to do. Everybody's got problems, including me. I wouldn't pay any attention to it. Greetings. Ah, ah. Good day. Ah. Uh, hello? Who are you? Speak now, or face my claws. Ah. I've come on behalf of Olk, the merchant from Silden. <laughs> You've been making a racket with your seagulls on his roof. The world is free and belongs to us birds. If you get in our way, we will regurgitate all our food upon you! <laughs> well, he does seem like a very troubled person. Maybe I can make it worth your while. Oh, the things people complain about these days. Well... 
If you put it that way, I did see a nice flock of birds hanging around Montera. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. <clears throat> uh. Time it's my turn. Ultimately, The Birdman has perched elsewhere. Oh, good riddance! You've done me a great service. Here's your letter. Have you got the letters yet? If not, I suggest you hurry up. I'm starting to have my doubts about you. Leave me alone. I already know that.
Have you got the amulet yet? You wanted that letter of recommendation, didn't you? Don't cause any trouble here. Got it? That's good. Grant me the high.